In this video, we demonstrate the IQCAM system on chip. To begin with, technology scaling has allowed the integration of more applications in small portable devices that has led to an explosive growth of mobile users. However, as more applications and transistors are being integrated in tiny devices, a large number of such transistors can switch at the same time instant, leading to a drastic increase in power consumption and power density which poses reliability concerns in today's integrated circuits. The operation of such devices is constrained by the limited battery lifetime, which is not improving as fast as transistor technology. Therefore, there is a need to efficiently utilize the limited energy resources through low power techniques. One of the most effective ways to reduce power is voltage scaling due to the quadratic dependence of power on voltage. However, we cannot abruptly scale down supply voltage since even if power decreases, delay increases and thus can lead to failures which can potentially degrade the output quality of our systems significantly. Therefore, design techniques that allow us to reduce power with minimal quality loss are required. To that effect, a significance driven approach has been proposed that speeds up the computations that contribute significantly to output quality. Such approach has been applied to the design of various DSP architectures. In this project, we extend this concept to embedded systems at the software level. Specifically, under low power requirements, the less crucial computations are not computed resulting in a reduced number of computations and cycles. This effectively facilitates voltage scaling while keeping the total computational time constant. In our design project, based on the significance-driven approach, we developed a novel camera system on a chip, adaptable to user power performance requirements with minor quality loss. Our approach is effectively demonstrated using Altera NIOS processor and system on a chip development flow. In the displayed camera system, we focus on the decompression part that consists of the Huffman decoder, the decoadizer, and the inverse discrete cosine transform, designed by applying the proposed significance driven approach. This applies to an everyday scenario wherein users browse through their photos on various portable multimedia devices. Under such a scenario, the best quality is not necessary and allows applying our low power techniques. In addition, we also accelerate the computationally intensive color conversion and display functions. To build our designs, we utilized the various Altera tools, Coortus and Dentasop PC Builder that allow fast and easy integration of systems on a chip. We now illustrate our design process by showing the integrated system in Quartus and SOPC Builder. Here you can see the number of logic cells utilized in our design using significance driven software. This is the RTL view of the whole system generated by SOPC Builder. Now we open the SOPC Builder where you can see the various modules which are used to integrate our system. Switches have been added to provide user control for changing the image quality. You can also see the performance counter core which is used to measure the overall performance of the decompression process. The red LEDs indicate the mode which the user selects using the switches as will be shown in the live demo. Now we take you inside the CPU where we have added custom instruction for accelerating the color conversion function. Now let us move to the software files which you have modified. This file contains the main function which is the starting point for the decompression process. Here we have made appropriate changes to read the compressed image file from the flash memory and added performance counters to measure the time taken in the decompression process and display separately. This file contains the main function for dequantization and IDCT. We have used a different algorithm for calculating IDCT to incorporate our significance driven computation scheme. So this function basically checks the status of the switch and triggers the if block corresponding to it. We also make sure not to dequantize the coefficients which are not used in our IDCT computation according to the mode selected by the user. This results in a user controlled quality adaptive implementation which leads to significant power savings and performance improvements. This file contains the color conversion function which has been optimally accelerated and jointly optimized with a display routine to reduce the time used for displaying the decoded image on the monitor. You can clearly see the custom instruction being called here. So you can see the code which writes the pixel values to the pixel buffer. Let's go to the live demo. 
Here you can see the system setup. Now we run our application on the NEOS 2 fast processor. You can see that the application is downloading now. So it has finished downloading and now it is running. By default, the output image will be displayed at the highest quality. Now we start changing the quality modes using the onboard switches. We go down from the highest quality to the lowest quality in steps. First we set the mode to 7 where only 7 cross 7 IDCT block is computed. And then we gradually move to 6, 5 and so on. You can clearly see that the red LEDs light up showing the mode which has been selected. You can clearly see that as we change the mode from highest quality to 7, 6 and 5, we cannot notice a substantial change in image quality due to the limited perceptual ability of the human visual system. However, as we move towards the lowest quality mode, changes in image quality are clearly visible. This demonstrates our significance driven design scheme. Next we present the results which are obtained using the tools shown in this figure. In order to estimate the power under various quality modes, we use Altera's power play early power estimator as shown in this figure. As seen here, our significance driven approach results in reduction of computation cycles under various quality modes up to 58%. Utilizing the reduction of cycles achieved by the reduced logic computation and memory accesses, we estimated the scale down VDD while keeping the total computation time constant. The resulted power and quality trade offs under the various modes are shown in this graph. As it can be seen, the user has the ability to reduce power by 30% under Q2 mode at 1.35 volts and save up to 54% power by reducing VDD to 1 volt in the Q3 mode. We have also explored custom instruction implementations for IDCT. So you can see the custom instruction for IDCT which has been added to the CPU here. Now this is the software file corresponding to the IDCT custom instruction. Here you can clearly see the calls made to the custom instructions. As seen here, due to increased hardware in case of the custom instruction implementation, we observe a 44% decrease in the total number of logic cells in our proposed approach. The increased number of logic cells as shown in the previous figure also translates to a higher power as compared to the significance to an approach as estimated by Altera's power play early power estimator. As expected, custom instruction results in better performance compared to software implementation. All in all, custom hardware results in 49% reduction of number of cycles at the cost of 29% power increase and 24% area increase over the software implementation in the Q2 mode.